welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to make a ice cream cake and we're going to make some homemade hot fudge to put on top of it. We're going to start with the devil's food cake mix and hack it to make it taste a whole lot better. You can use this just to make a regular cake if you want. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting my cake with a Duncan Hines Devil Food Cake Mix. You can use whatever brand that you want. And I'm going to add to that a half a cup of chocolate syrup. Next we're going to add one cup of buttermilk. The buttermilk and the chocolate syrup is really going to help mask that artificial sweet flavor. And we'll just mix that till it's incorporated. Next, we're going to replace the vegetable oil with melted butter. This mix calls for a third of a cup. Some will call for half a cup. I'm just going to turn my mixer on low and slowly incorporate my melted butter. Then lastly, I'm going to add the three eggs the mix calls for. Now we're ready to put our batter in our cake pans. I'm using two six inch prepared cake pans for this. You could certainly go an eight or nine inch cake as well. We'll bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until toothpick inserted comes out clean. After my cake cooled, I took one of the cakes and I leveled it off and then I cut it in half creating two one inch layers. I cut a one inch layer off the other cake that I had set aside earlier. This is going to actually be the top of our cake. Once the cake was cooled, I layered both of my cake pans with plenty of plastic wrap, leaving a lot of overhang around the sides. That's just going to make it easier to get our cake layers out once we add the ice cream. I left my ice cream out for about an hour. You want it to be workable, but not real runny. And what we're going to do is take one of our cake layers and we'll put it down into our pan. And then we're going to take our ice cream and start spooning it in. We want to kind of press down as we go. We don't want any air pockets and we're going to fill it up to the top of the pan. Once you get it filled up, use a spat offset spatula or something to smooth it out. Get it as level as possible. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other pan. And then we'll put them in the freezer for at least three hours. I'm using vanilla bean ice cream, but you could use any flavor that you want. Like strawberry would be great or chocolate. You could even use two different flavors one in each of the two different pans. My cake layers were in the freezer for about four hours and now we're ready to unmold them and all we're going to do is use this extra plastic wrap and we're just going to pull it right up out of the pan. I'll then remove the plastic wrap and I'm going to put this layer just on an eight inch cake round. Now we're ready to stack our cake. So I'm just going to place my other layer on top here. And then we're going to put our top layer of cake on. Then I'm just going to use an offset spatula to kind of smooth out the sides where this ice cream is not really even with the sides of the cake. You don't have to worry about it looking perfect because we're going to cover this whole thing in whipped cream coming up next. But first I'm going to put this back in the freezer for about an hour. I've made some fresh whipped cream that I'm going to use to frost the cake. 
I'll put some hints in the description box on how to make a really nice whipped cream. Once you're happy with the frosting, I need to do a little bit more work on this one, but it's getting close. Be sure to put it back in the freezer until time to serve. I'm not going to add any decorations to this cake, but if I was going to take this to a party or serve it to guests, I think what I would do is pipe some small whipped cream rosettes on the top and put some fresh strawberries in them. I think that would be delicious to serve a strawberry with each slice of cake, but I'm not taking the cake anywhere and also it's really not strawberry season so I'm not going to do that. You could also just put on some chocolate sprinkles on top, however you want to decorate it. To make the hot fudge for our cake, this is a very simple recipe. We're going to add one cup of sweet chocolate chips to a saucepan and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm going to take this over to the stove and cook it on medium heat, stirring consistently just until all the chocolate is melted. Once the chocolate's melted, take it off the heat and I'm going to stir in two tablespoons of butter that I let set out and come to about room temperature. This makes about two cups of hot fudge. You can store this in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. The best way to store it is like in a canning jar and then you can warm it up before serving either on the stovetop or in your microwave. You want to take your cake out of the freezer about 15 minutes before slicing it. To cut your cake, use a sharp serrated knife and cut in a sawing motion to get a nice looking piece of cake. And to serve it, you just want to take some of your hot fudge and just spoon it over the slice of cake. Thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified on our future uploads. Hope to see you back soon.